<laughs> Hi, can you fucking not? No. That was such a cool intro. Hello, my name is Katie Stube, and welcome to Bloodwash. Uh. Link will be down below. Let's get started. Where is my mouse? There it is. I've seen someone play the demo on YouTube, and that is the extent. What a day. Professor Watt was his usual miserable self, and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... Fucking voice acted. Love it. Of course. Liam didn't do the laundry or clean. I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. Yeah, this place is a mess. I'm sorry, girl. I'll gather these clothes up and head to the laundry room in the basement. I'm going to have to talk to Liam later. I'm too upset and tired to go through it again. He's going to have to pull it together for this baby. A little baby. I still haven't had time to unpack yet. Not sure when I will. I still haven't had time to unpack yet. Oh, okay, yeah. Dirty clothes. Do I have to go around and find? Not the best in the world, but it was free. Free is the best flavor. It's a small block. Black and white TV. Not block. Oh, TV stand. Filled with a couple of horror movies I have. Nothing better to sit down at the end of the day. Close my window. Eh, it's not fully closed, but close enough. Oh, so do we have to find pants? Our kitchen cabinets. I worked really hard to clean them out, and I'm proud they have stayed clean. It's held up well. Uh, it's held up well until recently. Now let's off a pungent odor. Now it lets off a pungent odor. Some seasonings are inside. I miss cooking. It works surprisingly well. I went shopping last week, so it's pretty full right now. I have to click all the things. I'm ashamed to say I've started to rely on soda to keep me up, up through the day. Mm, sorry, girl. Nothing interesting inside. I'm saving up for a vacuum so I can clean this place properly. Nice. No one I should call, especially at this hour. Uh, do we need to find pants? Ah, pants. I'm honestly too mad to talk to Liam right now. Let's get him... Let, let him get over his hangover by himself. Liam's drawers. Shouldn't go through them without a mask. <laughs> Filled with pencils and half-written research papers. Oh, here we go. I hate this thing. I have crickets. I have cricks in my body and I didn't even know that was possible. Click click. Uh, I think that's all we need. I can't leave yet. I need to gather my dirty clothes. I thought we did. Ah. There we go. Right, I think that's all the dirty laundry. Time to go to the basement. Oh, the basement is where the thing is? That sucks. Nice man lives here. It's good to know you have at least one good neighbor. Alright, let's yeet to the basement. Woman and her son live here. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen them, seen either one in about a week. Is this foreshadowing? We're on the third floor and we have to go all the way to the basement for our laundry. There's an error. Kinda sucks.
little thing is supposed to heat the entire building. It'd be more effective to just give each tenant wood to burn every week. I mean... She's probably not wrong. No tire. Not sure what it's doing down here. I don't like the breathing. Exposed electrical box. Nice. Fucking mitt. Filled with old porn. What? Porno rags might be worth a penny or two if they weren't drenched in dubious stains. Ew. What? <laughs> Wait, what? This one is empty. I feel that's the best case scenario. Okay, let's let's just It's out of order. Toolbox. Our janitor will kill me if I rummage through his things, even though I really doubt he uses any of these. What? Out of order? What am I gonna do now? I should probably go back upstairs and figure something out. You, I had to trek down three flights of stairs and go deep into this dingy basement for one washing machine and dryer and it's out of order? I need to wash my clothes before I dry them. That's some bullshit. I think I heard something coming from that closet. Hi, Hobo Joe! I thought you were just in undies for a second. What are you doing, sir? What are you- what- why? Is this how you sleep? God damn girl, you scared the Jesus out of me! What? how do you think I feel? I scared you? You scared me! What the hell are you doing creeping around down here? Look, I'm sorry for scaring you. I'll tell you, but can you keep this to yourself? Jesus Christ, Joe, you're insane. Yeah, I can. What's up? Uh, the missus kicked me out and it's too cold outside, so I'm trying to wait her out down here. I really didn't mean to creep on you. Honest. Mm-hmm. I just realized something. Oh no, it's fine. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I believe you. Just next time maybe don't go around slinging doors open and hiding in the dark. I will. Thanks, kid. Say, if you want to use the washing machine, it's, uh, broken. I can see that. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. Sorry again for scaring you, kiddo. It's okay. Okay, bye. It's empty. A musty box. I don't think anyone... Anything inside would interest me. I don't know. I feel like it could. Who is breathing down here like that? We live on the third floor. The headline reads, Womb Ripper strikes it. That's terrifying. In the early hours of the 30th, authorities were called when a, a passerby found a terribly mangled corpse, haphazardly tossed to the nearby grounds. Sources indicate that the woman was indeed pregnant, and just like previous victims, the fetus was cut out and assumed to be taken by the assailant. <laughs> this is now the fourth victim in as many weeks, and authorities are struggling to come up with leads in one of the most gruesome crime sprees the city has ever endured. Ma'am, are you not going to say any- Hello? What's oh, up, are you our neighbor? Oh, you know, trying to balance life, school, and job hunting. I love what you got going on here, it's dude. It's a tough world these days. Liam been treating you well. When he isn't drunk, yeah. Look, you'll tell me if it gets bad, yeah? I know it ain't easy to talk about, and you don't have to tell me nothing. Just promise me you'll tell me if you need help. You are tall, sir. My sister used to be in a bad situation, too, and there's places you can go. I appreciate that, Stan. I really do. Yeah, sure. You doing some laundry at this time of night? I was trying to. 
I'm trying to. Yep. Of course, when I really need it, the washer downstairs is broken. Ain't that some shit. Yeah. And speaking of shit, I have an interview tomorrow, so I guess I'll show up smelling like crap. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. I have to say, though, it's a hell of a time to be out so late, especially with that maniac roaming around. I'm a big girl, Stan. Do you know the address? Sure, sure. Let me write it down for you. Just promise me you'll take care, I. I'll try my best. I'm gonna go grab my purse before I head to the laundromat. Oh, you're a smoker, Stan. That's Early not... You might be able to catch the next bus. I'll try. Thanks again, Stan. Thank you. Seriously. Love what you, you got going on, dude. If this doesn't work, work out with Liam or... Leroy or whatever the fuck his name is... You single? Because, like... I'm liking you. Alright, hopefully I didn't miss that last bus to the laundromat. Alright, let's go. Hurry, and you might be able to catch the next- Thanks again, Stan. Oh, you should kick that dirty habit, dude. Smoking. That ain't it, fam. Surprised they take any safety precautions in this death trap, I mean... <laughs> Amanda. Void. That's creepy, I like it. Shelf that has fallen over. Indeed. An old suitcase. Really shouldn't get in the middle of gang, a gang drug drop off. Maybe an adventure for another night. <laughs> I like that you're keeping it on the table. Is this a mirror? What is this? Hello. Are your pants unzipped, dude? Hey there. And Are unbuttoned. Okay? Can I get you anything? It's gone. They they, they took it. What is it? Did someone steal something from you? They took it. The people in the walls. They, they took it from me. Oh God, she's here now! Do I gotta worry about wall people? I mean, I feel like I've had enough to worry about in this fucking apartment complex thing. I should probably leave him alone. Poor guy. Oh, you're so caring. Some sales ad, missing pets, nothing too unusual. Aw. Ooh. This looks dope. It's an outdoor electrical box thing, I'm a Bob. My brother is an electrician back home and would know. Oh, I can't go out in the street. Why are they stopped there? It's convenient that the bus stop is there, though. That's really nice. Might not be doing great, but I'm not at the point where I have to go dumpster diving. Not yet, at least. I've been at that point. Well, yeah. Got any change? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have a couple dollars. Oh. Better than nothing. Thanks, kid. Better than nothing. I haven't seen you around here before. I I live right there. I moved in not too long ago. I'm usually studying right my classes, so that's probably why. Also, I don't usually come in the back alley. Oh, a college girl, huh? What was that? What are you studying? I'm pursuing a career in education at the moment. Nice. That's what I got my bachelor's in. Well, that's comforting. Oh, that's great. I hope I can find a gig soon afterwards. If not, my sleeping bag has room for two. <laughs> well, thank you. Got any change? Sure, I have a couple. Oh. Better. I haven't seen you. I moved. Oh, what are you? I'm pers- not. Oh. If not. Okay, bye. I think I heard the bus. Thank you for waiting for me, dude. Where are you heading at this hour? If you don't mind me asking. Uh... The laundromat on the outside of town? 
yeah. Not sure I believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. Uh, everyone's in their own situation, dude. Why are you driving a bus this late? Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. Does it have to do with that skinny-ass situation down there? You won't even have to pay cash, if you know what I mean. How about you just drive the bus and I'll pretend you're not a desperate loser? Yeah. Whatever, I like that bitch. idea. Set the fuck down so I can get this piece of junk rolling again. Dude, do you even have anything down there? Like... I'd rather not sit in whatever the... Ugh, slathered on the seat? What is this? I can't tell. Has to be fake. Some people have a sick sense of humor. I... I don't know what I'm looking at. Alright, we're... Dirty seat, dirty seat, dirty seat. Sit down! I'm definitely gonna have to brighten it up for you guys. What's he doing? It's looking sus. Dude, there are plenty of seats. And places to stand. Why? Why? Okay. It's so dark out. I can't even see the street. But I want to see the street. <gasps> Hi! Can you fucking not? No. May I sit beside you? No. There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you would need to do that. May I... May I sit beside you? No, no. Are you deaf? Do I need to get the driver to throw you off? You're going to die tonight. Bitch, not if I can what? help it! You're going to die tonight. I've seen it. Tonight is your last night on Earth. Sir, I'm gonna need you to back the fuck up. You are walking straight into your doom. Can't you see that? You and that child inside you. Can't you smell that you need a Tic Tac? <laughs> you will be found just like all the others. Ripped open, your insides displayed for all the angels above to look down and see. Uh-uh, can we kick this oh, guy yes. away? Of that, I am certain. Just give him a little boot and be like, back the Please, fuck up. Stop talking. May I sit beside you? No. 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 no nothing you said made me want you sit ne to sit next to me. N my my answer is All no. All right, miss. This is your stop. Get get the fuck get the fuck away from me. 